Hi. So today we're on the floor, but for once I'm not going to be um, dyeing my hair. I'm so sorry to disappoint. But today I decided, hey, um, I was getting in the zen, in the zone, doing a bit of painting, uh, drinking some tea, and I was like, holy shit, let's film a fucking video. Now my battery's about to die, so I don't know how this video is gonna go. But I wanted to talk about a topic on my channel, this topic on my channel for a long time. Now this video is gonna be less of the crackhead Diana and more of the relaxed and calm Diana. So grab yourself a tea. I have my favorite Libra mug over here cause I'm a Libra. I love this mug with all my heart. And uh, sipping some really good chamomile tea before bed um, with no caffeine. And I'm about to do some painting. I'm currently waiting for this thing to dry. Now I have zero artistic talent, so this is, we'll see how this goes. But yeah, I wanna talk to you guys. So you are more than welcome to join me on this video. So hi, what is up crackheads? Let's change this angle because I'm kind of leaning forward. Ignore the mess that is my background. <laughs> so hi, what's up y'all? So today I was like, hey, Let's talk about dreams. Yes, dreams. So, so I don't dream often, but when I do, holy shit, do I have the weirdest dreams ever. So the thing is, the reason I wanted to talk about this topic is because dreams really fascinate me because you know, wow, it's so interesting. Like, whoa, you ever have like a really weird dream and you wake up and you're like, what the fuck was that? So the thing is, unfortunately, I don't dream often, which sucks because to me, it's like a waste of time. I'm like, wow, I go to bed. I expect to see a really good movie in my damn head while I sleep, you know? I don't know what you believe in, but personally, I believe that, you know, our dreams do have some sort of like meaning. I feel like may sometimes you do predict things in your dreams because I have had moments where I have predicted things in my dreams. So there's this one that I remember clearly. So I was thinking about it and I was talking about it with my friend and I was like, it's not so weird how like you dream about something and it happens. And she was like, and I was like, you've never had that. So I remember one time I had a really realistic dream. Now, every single time I have a dream, it's so realistic. It feels like I'm in it. Um, like it feels like it's proper happening. And I've become self-aware one time I was having this dream and um, I remember I became like super self-aware that I was dreaming and the second I became self-aware that I was dreaming, I woke up and it sucked. But anyways, I was having this dream one time and it, like obviously all of them were like proper felt real. Um, I was there with one of my friends who had a crush on me at the time and this dream was like three years ago but I remember it so well because in this dream, so it was just me and my friend who back then had a crush on me and we were sitting in this pub but there was no one around us so it was just the two of us and he was like oh diana i have to tell you something and dream diana knew exactly what he was gonna tell me and let me play him so my boy confessed his feelings for me in the dream but dream diana did not feel the same the feeling was not mutual i'm sorry um but I remember, like, he said, I remember in a dream, he was like, oh, I like you, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, haha, like, I like you, but, like, as a friend, homie, like, put him straight in that friend zone, you know? And then all of a sudden, the mood changed completely. And he, like, he, like, scooted away from me and, like, pushed me away. And I remember he was like, oh, I can't be around you anymore. I, I need to, I can't see you anymore. And he was saying things like that to me. And obviously in a dream, I was like, what the fuck? So I woke up and I was like, that was so weird. Like, what the hell? And then I remember laughing about it with my friend. I was like, what a stupid dream. That dream came true a month later. Word by word. The thing is, we weren't in a pub setting. We were in my bedroom, but... It came true, it came true, literally, word by word. And then when I told him, you know, sorry, the feelings aren't mutual, he completely pushed me away. And then he told me that we need to spend time apart and he can't bear to be around me. So that happened. Um, and I remember thinking, holy shit, I've seen this somewhere before. And I had like a huge deja vu. And I was like, oh my God, I dreamt about this. So that was really weird. That's when I was like, what the hell? I used to keep a dream diary where like, every time I had like a interesting dream that I could remember, I'd write it down. 
I've had uh, so many dreams. I'm not going to talk about all of them in this video because I honestly can't remember half of them. But recently I've been also getting a lot of dreams like that. Um, I had a dream two months ago. I think it was two months ago. Um, I had a sort of a falling out with one of my friends and I had this dream that like, okay, this was so fucking weird. This is some inception shit, bro. So basically I had a day off work. I came home and I was exhausted. I was so tired. So I was on my laptop on that bed. Like I was on my laptop and I just fell asleep. Like an unexpected nap. I just passed out. But in my dream, I woke up. It was weird. It was like, if it, it was as if I... Well, I don't know how to explain it. So basically, in my dream, I woke up and I was like in the same position that I was over there. And I was like, oh man, I fell asleep. That was so weird. And I kind of continued on with my day. As in like, I thought I was awake. You know, does that make sense? I don't know how to explain things. I'm really bad at this. But as I, basically, I thought I was awake, but I was actually asleep. There we go. So, but it's so weird, because like, it was like nothing changed. Man, I entered some different fucking dimension or something. I don't know. So anyway, in that dream where I thought I was awake, I took off my makeup. Um, I was listening to music. I was, you know, bopping around in my room. Um, and I remember I was looking out of, outside of the window and the sky was this intense, beautiful, lavendery purple color. I remember looking at it and I was like, holy shit, the sky looks so cool. I remember taking snapshots of it and I was like, oh my God, the sky is so cool. Then, remember how I said I had a kind of a falling out with a friend? So then I went onto my curious cat in the dream. <laughs> yeah, I have a curious cat, please send me hate. Um, I went on my curious cat and he sent me a uh, message on curious cat, but it wasn't anonymous. Like. He was like, hey, it's me. And the message said something like, ah, uh, here. Like, it was just said, ah, uh, here. And I remember I was like so confused. I was like, what the hell? I haven't talked to him in like two weeks. Why is he sending me a fucking curious cat? Like, why does it say ah, uh, here? What's going on? So I was really confused. And then I woke up in real life and I felt so confused. I was like, what fucking year is it, bro? What dimension am I in right now? And I was like, am I actually awake? I remember I was like, I went downstairs and I asked my mom to like proper pinch me really hard because I was like, am I awake right now? And she was like, are you on something? Because I woke up and I was like, what the fuck? Because I thought I was already awake, but I wasn't awake. I was dreaming and then I actually woke up and I felt so confused and my brain felt so weird. I had such a weird headache. And I was like, what the hell was that? And here's the thing, that friend that didn't talk to me for like two-ish weeks messaged me earlier on, like later on in the, not earlier on, later on in the night. I remember I woke up and I was like, what the fuck? I remember I started Googling things like, ooh, purple sky meaning. What does it mean when you have like a weird dream like this? Because I was like, bro, that was so weird. The whole experience was just so weird. But the fact that, you know, like that person, like who I haven't talked to in a long time, messaged me in the dream and I was like so confused about it. He messaged me later on for the first time in like two weeks um, in actual life. So I was like, that is so weird. It's like my dream predicted a message. It didn't say I here. It was like a stupid Snapchat. <laughs> but like, you know, it happened. And I remember sitting there and I was like, am I psychic? Am I like predicting things in my dreams? I had many dreams uh, like that before. No, I had a huge crush on this guy. And anyways, uh, we never talked, like ever. Like don't even know he, didn't even know he knew I existed. And I remember um, I had a dream that was so real that like um, I was hanging out with my friends and he messaged me and he messaged me asking for something specific I'm not gonna go into detail, but anyways, he asked me for something in the dream. I remember thinking, holy shit, this dude never texts me. And in my dream, obviously, I was like, oh my god, like, he messaged me. Blah. So then I was like hanging out with my friends and I was like, yeah, I um, have to leave now. I'm gonna go meet up with him. So I woke up and I was like, what the fuck? I was like, that is so weird. And I was like, man, the universe is just being mean to me, making me dream about things like this. Because I was like, I have a crush on him, but like, he doesn't know I exist. Bitch, I kid you not, a week later, he messaged me the exact same thing that he messaged me in the dream. Like, what the fuck? Like, what is that all about? He basically messaged me the exact same thing that I dreamt about. 
And I remember I literally almost threw my phone. I was like, what the fuck? And that's not the first time it happened. I remember one time um, I had a dream that he was like doing something on social media. I had a dream that he was looking at my social media and he was messaging me. And I woke up to him tagging me in like an Instagram post. And then like he messaged me then after. And I was like, this is so weird. It's just weird. It's like a weird coincidence. I was like, what is going on? I had a dream uh, six years ago, I was going out with this guy and I had a dream that he cheated on me in a dream with a specific person and I remember I woke up and I was like haha that's just me being paranoid because we all have those dreams you know and they suck but we all do but you know what when we broke up that's exactly who he went out with after so um I don't know my dreams are like all over the place oh my god one time my friend Luke and I had the exact same dream at the exact same time because we both messaged each other about it and we were like what the fuck and recently, my friend Aggie and I, so okay, so I had a dream, I had, this dream was actually last night, so I had a dream last night that I was at this party with my friends, and there was a few people that did, didn't know as well, and there was this really cute boy, and I was like, oh my god, hi, but then he started doing, like, a lot of drugs in front of me, and, like, it made me feel uncomfortable, because I was just sitting there, like, trying to talk to him, and he just whips out this bag, and he's like, and I was like, okay nice to meet you too you know like what an introduction anyway I was like grand I'm gonna go look for my friends and then um yeah and in a dream <laughs> a lot of things happened in that dream and then anyways I was talking to my friend Aggie about it I was like what a weird dream and she was like Diana I had the same fucking dream that I was at a party you were there it was full of people I didn't know and there was a guy do it like there was a lot of coke everywhere um, and you were like, I got into an argument with someone and you were like cheering me on and I was like, Aggie, we had the same fucking dream at the same time. What the fuck is that all about? What's that all about? Isn't that fucking mad? Are our brains connected or something? Like, I don't know, bro. Ever have like a dream about someone who like you usually wouldn't have a dream about or like a dream about like a friend or something and you wake up the next morning feeling really different about them? Like, oh. <laughs> I had a dream, uh, I had a dream a while ago about this guy and I had a dream that he let, that he broke up with like his partner to hang out with me and I felt so bad during the whole dream. I was like, this is fucking stupid. Um, I remember I had, um, yeah, I had a dream that he like, and his girlfriend was like so sad in the dream. She was so upset and like dream Diana felt so bad. I was like, is she okay? I was like, oh my god, why would you do that? I was like, that is so bad. And he was just like, eh, whatever. And I was, I woke up and I was like, what the fuck was this dream? What is going on? Um, you ever have um, a very interesting sexual dream about one of your friends? Can my friends stop coming into my dreams and having a good time with me? It's so awkward. Do you ever like have like such a weird like dream like that about one of your friends and like you wake up and you're like oh, I feel really weird about this or you just feel different about them or you ever have a dream about someone who you barely know and you wake up having a weird crush on them because that's what I'm going through right now. <laughs> I had a dream about this person that I know uh, recently and like it was just a dream like nothing really happened in it we were just having a great old time together and I woke up and I was like I feel weird I was like I feel so weird about this person right now I was like oh like how disgusting my brain is tricking me into this like giving me a fucking crush on this person when I didn't fucking ask for it um, so I'm suffering right now, but yeah, I'm just saying I've had a good few dreams where like I've predicted things and it's mad And I just have really weird dreams. Like what is your opinion? Do you dream a lot? Do you? Not dream at all. Have you ever had weird dreams that came true? But I want to start keeping a dream diary again where I write down dreams because my ones just, They're mad um, but yeah, um, this one time I had a proper realistic dream that I was at work and suddenly it was the end of the world and his dream really scared me because, um, so I was at work and suddenly it was the end of the world <laughs> and I was at work, of course, where else would I be? And suddenly everything started flooding and that's like one of my biggest fears is drowning. So we were like, the whole shop was just flooding and it was people panicking and everyone was like, oh my God. And I sat up on one of the counters. I was like really tall. My dumb ass was just like holding my phone up like this, making sure it doesn't get wet. Like you stupid bitch, you're going to drown anyway. So anyways, I'm sitting on this counter and the water was like, 
a forest green it was like a swampy green color and I remember I was like oh my god oh my god oh my god and everyone like started like drowning and I was like super scared and then this guy that I know it was actually an ex-boyfriend an ex-boyfriend looked right me look he looked me right in the eyes and he just went it's okay I'll see you in our next life and that's it because it got to a point in my dream where I accepted the fact that I was going to die and I was like this is it I can't escape we're all gonna drown and then he looks at me and he says like he says this thing I'll see you in our next life lol and I freaked the fuck out I woke up I like sat up in my bed and I was like what the fuck was that I was like so scared I was like for like ages I was making sure that this person was like okay I was like is this a sign that they're gonna die I felt so weird I was like what is going on it would triggered me also do any of you like ever have like those dreams where like you feel like someone's like touching you or like whispering in your ear because I've had so many dreams where I'm like about to wake up and I can hear someone whispering in my ear this one time I had a dream about like me and my friends and then right before I woke up I heard someone whisper in my ear light the candles light the candles something like that and I woke up and I was like was that in my dream or did I actually just hear that anyway so many questions not enough answers let me know how you feel about dreams and what's your opinion and all that stuff I'm gonna get back to painting I'm just waiting for just to dry um I was gonna call this paint with me haha but I'm just talking and sipping my caramel tea. But yeah, um, so yeah, that's basically it. I Let me know what you think about dreams and what is your dream experience. And let me know if you've ever had any dreams that came true because that's like mainly what I made this video for because I feel like every single time I have a dream, parts of it come true. Honestly, listen, I sound like a psycho, but I am like, 95% convinced that I'm psychic, okay? L hear me out. I've had so many experiences where I'm like, holy shit. I'm just like, what the fuck? I just thought about that. What the fuck? That just, I predicted that. I have had so many of those experiences and I kind of want to make a video about like psychic experiences, I guess. Like so many, I've had so many. It's like my mom tells me I have like really good intuition. Apparently my intuition is like 10 out of 10. So I'm like, haha, I never know when to trust her. But I swear to God, I low-key think I'm psychic. Because girl, I want to make a video on like weird psychic, I guess, experiences. So yeah, let me know what you think about dreams. And I will see you guys super soon with probably another crackhead energy video. I feel like it was nice to actually watch a Diana video where she's not screaming. So yeah, I'm going to drink this, finish my painting and go to bed. And let's, I wonder what I'm going to dream about tonight. I hope I have a nice dream. But yeah, see y'all later.